Is obesity really related to higher rates of cancer? I'm Dr. Katrina Mattingly, and I am the Chief Clinical Officer of Options Medical Weight Loss. A study released from the International Agency for Research on Cancer states that there is a substantial link between the amount of body fat and an increased risk for various cancers. Endometrial cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, and several others are linked to excess fat tissue. To date, there are at least 13 different cancers that have been linked to obesity, according to the CDC. And these 13 account for 40% of all diagnosed cancers annually. The American Cancer Society states 11% of cancers in women and 5% in men are linked to obesity. Here's an example of how obesity increases cancer risk. Excess fat tissue is known as sick fat. This excess fat can trigger inflammation in the body. Fat tissue can produce excess levels of hormones such as estrogen in the tissues, which can increase the risk of breast, endometrial, and ovarian cancer. Another example, the link to high insulin levels in response to high blood sugar. Not only does the elevated blood sugar and insulin lead to inflammation, but these cells utilize for energy. They utilize glucose. All of that extra sugar floating around in your blood can fuel the rapid growth and spread of cancer cells, which may have developed as well. Breast, prostate, and colorectal are examples of cancers possibly linked to too much blood glucose and high levels of insulin. With increased inflammation, the body's immune system is constantly fighting and trying to tame that inflammation. Cancer cells are uncontrolled growth of normal cells that are found in our body. So what can you do to reduce your risk? Establish care with a medical provider for regular monitoring and to see if you're at increased risk. Become familiar with your family history if you can. If you do not know your direct relatives, friends and neighbors can sometimes provide clues since genetic testing can be quite an expensive process. Look at your nutrition intake. Is your food intake indeed nutritious? Or could it use fork? Look at your physical activity and engage in ways that you can increase it. Even moving around your home burns up extra calories and energy. And finally, explore medical weight loss options. Sometimes patients have worked really hard at optimizing their eating and optimizing their movement, but they still need a little help, especially if genetics are at play. Give us a call if you've got risk factors for cancer, or even if you have no known risk factors, but want to start working now to improve your overall health and general wellness. At Options, we have options for everybody. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us.